we put together an ad hoc committee a couple of months ago for the full purpose of finding a third party to investigate uh, the case of Richard Glossop, which many of you know I've been for the last two years uh, looking at the Richard Glossop case. Uh, my first look at the case, honestly, uh, I thought, you know what, this guy's on death row. A lot of people on death row say they're innocent. Uh, but when I started looking into the case, I, I feel that we have somebody on death row who's been there for 24 years now uh, that is completely innocent. Today, uh, we're going to introduce to you a law firm that's taken on the task and they've committed up to 20 attorneys uh, to, to investigate this case. We have a long-standing commitment uh, to pro bono cases, uh, and that does mean free. Our work on this case will not cost one penny uh, to the taxpayers of Oklahoma. And our task is to come up with, develop, uh, and do a thorough, complete, independent investigation. Uh, we're not on any one side. We are not counsel for Mr. Glossop. Uh, we have this task to be objective, to be thorough, and to be independent. And if the evidence comes back and he's guilty, then he needs to be put to death. But if the evidence comes back that he's not guilty, we need to let him out. And I personally feel like uh, it's going to come back that he's not guilty. Richard Glossop's had three last meals, right? Um, if he moves forward with this execution, this will be his fourth, right? So every time he's gotten within that last meal phase of the execution before they halted it. Uh, yes, I, I'm frustrated. I, I'm frustrated with the legal process that we have right now on death row. So we find ourselves in a situation again here in the state of Oklahoma that uh, we've got a guy that some people believe is, is innocent on death row, but we have no mechanism in our state that allows us to go back and look into a case. And I think it warrants a third party investigation here. And I think it warrants changing the law.